Hi, my name is Michael Porter. I'm here with Pittsburgh Modular. We're going to show off a couple new modules we have here at NAM 17. First off, we have the double helix oscillator. It's a complex oscillator with wave folding and our new dynamic impulse filter built into it. Additionally, we have a pretty nifty switch matrix with two buses to uh, modulate with. So right now, let's just give it a listen real quick. So it's a sine wave. I'm going to turn on the folder here. We can also get some modulation from the switch matrix. I'm going to. So now, with a flick of a switch, I'm modulating the folder with our low frequency oscillator here. We can quickly get some FM from oscillator two. Throw some more dynamics in there. So without having to know exactly what you're doing, you can quickly find sounds in this oscillator just by flicking switches. Um, additionally, you can we can turn this down and we can send a square wave to it. I'm going to get that from here. So now I'm pinging it with a dynamic impulse filter that's built into it. So now we can get some modulation on that. looking at the, uh, the, the modules over here. So this is a set of modulation tools for the synthesizer. It's based around an LFO here and a function generator up here. And then they are sort of bridged by some logic and some noise. So this is a square wave oscillator with a sine wave and a, and a square wave out. Here we have noise and sample and hold that is already normal to the square wave. So then if I were to send the pitch to the oscillator, take the sample and hold out, bump rock them in. There we go. So now I'm sending random voltage there, and it's all clocked on the LFO. Next, we have a logic section that will blend and mix. So it's a it's a it's a unity gain mix, or it's an OR circuit. So it always takes the highest current. So it takes the the sine wave versus the function, and whichever one's heading high at the moment, that's what it'll. So that'll come out of the OR logic. On the top section here is a function generator. Uh, it cycles with LFO mode. In envelope mode, it will take a trigger to activate. We also have CV control on both the rise and the fall. You can quickly patch the sample and hold into this and get a smooth, random voltage out of it. Very handy in a self-contained module. Additionally, now we have this, the Lightform system interface. This is a six-channel mixer. Um, channel one is very unique in that it can act as an in-out. So if you have an external device like a drum machine, you can quickly patch that in and hit the gain and raise the signal up to uh, uh, modular level and then you can send it out in your system for more modulation, let's say to uh, an analog delay or something. Uh, channels uh, two and three are very similar. Um, they don't have the channel out. They go to the mix as well. Um, these also have built-in preamps. Um, channels four, five, and six are in one row. We wanted a six-channel mixer in a small space, so a lot of times I'll mix my drums in this channel. Um, now, each one of these banks has a send in, an, an aux send, um, so it sends in mono, returns in stereo. We all send this here. Additionally, there's busing. So you can send your mix, you can send it to the mix, you can send it to the bus. The bus is terrific for monitoring um, or queuing sounds. So over in the headphone area, you can see that you can either listen to the mix, listen to the bus, or both at the same time. So very much like the way a DJ would cue a sound with your headphones, you can do that with your modular. It's very um, handy. Very handy. And uh, then you have uh, your master levels here for uh, your mix, your bus, and your auxiliary send. 
Um, over here we have our dynamic impulse filter. This is a, a brand new original circuit by Michael Johnson. It's, it's very much like a low pass gate without the Vectrol. Um, we wanted to uh, design our way out of the problems Vectrol pose in so much that all the parts are different and that they're illegal, uh, they're outlawed by the ROHS standards ecologically. Um, so what we've done here is created a filter, patch that in here. In. So in filter mode, you have resonance, and uh, both mode is very similar to a classic LPG uh, low pass gate, except you have full control over how long it will ring out. So unlike a, a, a vectoral response, where it's static and it's a fixed length, you can dial in that decay. So if you want a short a short plucky hit or a longer drum to ring out, this is a great module for that purpose. And um, over here we have the 2x2 two two mixer. Not a sexy module, but extremely utilitarian. Um, so it's a four channel mixer or it's two two channel mixers. So a lot of times I'll end up mixing CV here and mixing my audio out here. Very similar to what you get on the uh, SV1. Very similar. Yeah. Except we added a few more features because we had some more panel space. So you can also have individual channel outs that will act as uh, passive attenuators. So if I patch out of channel one, two, three, four will mix to the out. Um, very, very handy. Um, additionally, we have our ADSR, very utilitarian module. Um, has long and short mode on, on all settings. Additionally, we added an inverted output. Now, it's not simply inverted. It's inverted and offset to five volts. So it starts at five volts goes down to zero and then closes again at five volts. Much, much more useful for modulation. And uh, lastly, we have the distro module. It's in uh, the, the first two sections are identical. Uh, it's a buffered, multi bu buffered multiple, one and three out, one and three out. On the bottom, you have a unity gain mix, so it's two in, two out. And uh, those are the new mixers that we, or those are the new modules we have this year at Pittsburgh Modular. I believe you guys are also putting together some new kits uh, with you know some of your modules packed into a, a skiff or something along like that. Well, yes, this is a system. Uh, this, this, as you see it configured, is called the Lifeforms Evo. Uh, this will be this collection of modules uh, will be available as an entire system packaged in our uh, light, uh, structured 208. Um, over here we have the Lifeforms Four, uh, the, the Foundation Four. Similar setup, single dual oscillator, and a full complement of modules for a for a nice duophonic voice. And what's the price point on both of those systems? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What's the price point on both of those systems? Certainly. So the Foundation Evo is $37.99 retail, and the Foundation 4 is $25.99 retail. Excellent. And uh, where did you get these bitching cases? The, the arcade... Uh, so our case manufacturer, uh, the guys who make our cases, built all of our furniture. They actually gifted us an arcade cabinet, and when, when they brought it to our shop, we'd be like, we want to make this into a synth arcade. So they they built them for us to bring here just for this event. That's fantastic. That's really great. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, they're beautiful. They built all of our furniture. Cool.